I'm going to show you how to take Digital Toothy and assign it on Google Classroom. In your downloads, you should have a Digital Phonics or Digital Math Toothy. Open the folder, then open the Google Classroom Files folder. In this folder, open the PDF. Then you want to choose the skill that you'd like to assign your students. I'm going to sign to assign syllables. This will make have you make a copy of the presentation. Then the presentation copy will be saved in your drive. Now you're ready to assign it in Google Classroom. You'll go to your Google Classroom. When you are in your Google Classroom, then you will go to the Classwork tab. In the Classwork tab, you will push Create, Assignment, here you will type the details of the assignment and you can type instructions. I'm going to type to record your answers on a recording sheet and to push present to play the game. Now I'm going to add from Google Drive that copy of the syllables. So you click on my drive and scroll till you find the copy that you want to add. Now right here you want to change students can view file. You want to change that to make a copy for each student so that each student has their own game to play and they aren't all trying to play on the same game. You can change more details over here, which students you want to assign it to, how many points, the due date, a topic, things like that. Then click assign. And now this is ready to go in your Google Classroom. Now I will show you what it looks like from the student side. When a student logs in, they will go into the classroom and they will see the new assignment on their stream or and in their classwork tab. They'll click on the assignment and they will see the instructions and they'll be able to click on their copy of the assignment. And this will bring them into the Toothy game to play. They'll push present, and then they'll be able to get started playing their game. One thing to note is if students are having a hard time getting in, check in, see which browser they're using. Google Chrome works the best for Google Slides. And if they're on an iPad, then you want to make sure they have the slides, the Google Slides app installed for this to work the best. Have fun.